I've got the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Surreal palette to share with you guys today. <laughs> had it upside down. I used this palette yesterday, so it would be the makeup that I'm wearing in my favorites video that I posted. I used the finishing powder, the blush, the bronzer, and a little bit of one of the highlighters in there. And then I used it again today, and I actually did a get ready with me video, <laughs> which I was kind of in a rush um, doing, but I did use a few products, the bronzer and the blush from this palette as well, so that's on my face. To start off with, um, this palette is expensive, <laughs> but I do like it better than the one that they put out last year for two reasons. <laughs> they have made the packaging like this marbled, I'm going to zoom in and show you guys uh, up close as well, but it's got like a marbled print to it. It's getting a little dirty because around the edges, but... And the other reason is there are all new shades inside the palette, which that makes it a little bit more worth the money to me. Even though comparing full-size products, um, blushes and the ambient powders, um, size-wise, you're definitely getting more product in like your full size ones as opposed to this but this is a nice collection of new stuff in one palette and for that reason I do like this. I'll go ahead and tell you guys the amount of product that's in here. Um, each one of the little squares which would be um, these two which they say are blushes, this one which is a bronzer and then this one which is like one of the highlighter type shades, those are all 0 0.04 ounces a piece and a full size highlighting powder is 0.16 ounce and a full size blush is 0.15 ounce. And then over here you've got the big one and that is, I just stuck my finger in it. <laughs> That's 0.14 ounces and a full size of the ambient lighting powder is 0.35 ounces. Talking a little bit about the shades in here, both of the blushes looked really pretty. I used both of them. This one here, I, I used today in the Get Ready With Me. It's what I have on my cheeks. And when I initially swatched it, I didn't really think I was going to get too much color out of it. Um, but because I am so light, I did get some color. So that makes me wonder if it's going to, you know, as a blush, show up on a little bit deeper skin tone. Um, this one showed up really well and then the bronzer um this is it's got a kind of a cool undertone and i love it i love the bronze tone of this bronzer much more than the two full-size bronzers that they put out so they can go ahead and you know release this one in full size anytime you want <laughs> and then the highlight powder or i guess i should call it the strobe powder um that's just too dark for me to use on the top of my cheekbones so like um yesterday i mixed in a little bit of that with the blush so that i could use it and mixing it with something is probably the only way i'll use it and then i did go ahead and finish off my face with the um finishing powder i do see little sparkles in kind of all of these powders but i feel like the ones in here may be a little bit bigger than these ones. Yesterday when I did use the strobe powder, I noticed, because I finished my whole face with it, I noticed that as a couple hours went on, um, it kind of, it made my face get a little bit deeper and it pulled a little bit yellow for me. I have very like pink undertones. So my skin coloring and tone definitely played a big part in the colors in this palette. But again, all the products are really nice. And price per ounce, this definitely isn't a bang for your buck. <laughs> you are paying a lot of money for a lot less product as opposed to buying them individually. But then again, you get the pretty packaging and all new shades in the palette. I actually sent back last year's palette because everything in there was in the permanent range and the amount of product was so small. This one isn't in any different, but at least there's new shades and we got prettier packaging. <laughs> So that's how I feel about the pricing, but let me go ahead and zoom up close and give you guys some swatches and hopefully you'll be able to better tell if it's something that you'll like. So here is the palette up close. It's got a really pretty marbled finish and then here's the back so you can kind of see um, right here is where they list how much product is in there and then the names are all surreal this and that. <laughs> So here's your uh, finishing powder, your strobing powder, two blushes, and then the bronzer. I, my favorite products in this palette are this blush and this bronzer. So this is the lighter blush. The texture of these is just divine. And they do, like on the skin, they also look really pretty. So it's going to depend on whether or not you like the tones of the product or your actual skin tone. So... So there are the two blushes. I don't know what's going on right there. <laughs> um, I've got this one on my cheeks today. And then we'll swatch this guy. I'm sure that it's going to be a difficult one to kind of see. So I'll do a heavier swatch there. But very, it's a very fleshy toned color. This does, I feel, have a yellow undertone. 
and it did give my face, like when I finished my face yesterday, it did give it some color. That's going to be so hard to see, right? And then we'll do the bronzer, which I love the bronzer. I feel like it has a bit more coolness to it than the other ones that they put out. Let's get a little bit more. These products are so soft and like finely milled. They blend it out on the skin very nice as well. And then the strobing powder, which would be like the highlighters that they put out. Which is too dark for me. Just so you guys can get an idea of the size of the palette, this is a full size ambient lighting powder. And then there is your Surreal palette. So you can see for as many products as in there, it's not very big. Another thing to mention is when you're going into these um, smaller ones, even this one with like if you go into it with a big finishing powder, you do kind of hit the other products in the palette. But I feel like all the colors in here work so well together that it's not that big of a deal. And I really feel with this particular palette, it's going to depend on, you know, your skin tone, whether you're light or dark or whether what kind of undertones you have, whether or not you'll like this. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.